I have what you'd call a heavily curated social media feed. You might not have noticed, but I'm a pretty high strung person. I tend to get pissed a lot. And the old ticker just doesn't take that like it used to. So I have my social media taken with a big dollop of yeet. I had a friend reach out the other day, right? I haven't seen you in years. So happy to talk to you. So glad to have you back in my life. I accepted his friend request. First post I saw from him was some, I don't care about your pronouns bullshit. So I yeeted him. And yet, despite this excessively pruned online experience, I'm still constantly inundated with Christian propaganda. And I'm not talking about ads here. Sure, AdSense sees me watching Christian movies on a weekly basis and perusing Christianity today every other day, and it naturally assumes that I want to send Bibles to North Korea or whatever. I can ignore that. And I'm also not talking about the Christians who infiltrate my online defenses and send me DMs about how hellbound I am. I can make those motherfuckers wish I'd ignored that. The Christian propaganda that I'm talking about, the stuff that drives me so fucking crazy, comes from atheists. It mostly goes like this. Yet another Christian leader gets caught raping children, and an atheist shares that news with a caption like, doesn't seem very Christian to me. Some Christian school kicks a kid out for having gay parents, and an atheist says, so much for Christian values, huh? Christian gets busted using the slave labor of unhoused people, and the atheists say, not very Christian of them, is it? But isn't it? Given your personal experience with Christianity, what could possibly be more Christian than a slave-driving homophobic child rapist? That's peak Christianity. And yet, even atheists often act like there's some higher standard that Christianity naturally occupies, some transcendent rectitude that it gets to claim regardless of what it does. And this would be bad enough if all we were doing was perpetuating the idea that Christian is a reasonable synonym for moral. The fact that church going is a stand in for ethical in America is plenty of the reason we suck as bad as we do. But we're doing more than that. When we say things like this, we're also conceding that the world would be better if people were just, you know, all properly Christian about things. Now, you might think you can rescue this kind of bullshit by subbing in the term Christ like, but that's no different. Implying the world would be better if we modeled the behavior of Christ is just another road to Christian supremacy. And it's also a boon to Christian propagandists who might have trouble sanitizing Christ's image if we didn't keep helping them out. Because look, the Christ of the Bible is not a great moral teacher, no matter how many atheists concede as much at the beginning of debates. Christ was petty, divisive, bigoted, and cruel. And yes, Christ says some good shit, too. Everybody says some good shit now and again. But we often act as though the core message of Christianity is be good to other people. That's just another bill of goods we've been sold by apologists. To the extent that Christ had a core message, it was, I am a living God and you should worship me. And, and if there was a secondary message, it was the world's going to come to an end any second. Be good was at best tertiary. I mean, I don't agree with much of what I've read in mere Christianity so far, but C.S. Lewis nailed at least one thing. Jesus can't be a good moral teacher and not be God incarnate because the main thing that he taught was that he was God incarnate. Hell, even when he was teaching morals, he wasn't all that good at it. Do unto others as you'd have them do unto you. That's the fucking live, laugh, love of moral philosophy. What's worse, it's just a rephrasing of something that was already in the Hebrew Bible. Leviticus 19.18 says, love your neighbor as yourself. And unless that's God telling you to jerk off your neighbor once or twice a day, that's pretty much the same thing Jesus said, isn't it? So what literally actually did bring to the table wasn't even original shit. And even if you were inclined to ignore all of that, cherry pick the best parts of Christ's teachings and argue that we'd be a better society if we just followed those parts of Christianity, I could always rebut that argument with all of Christian history. Thousands of different denominations have convinced themselves that they've nailed Christ's teachings where everybody else went wrong. And all thousands of them failed miserably when it came time to actually not suck. The idea that there's some magical combination nobody's hit on yet isn't just naive, it's delusional. Whenever you fault a Christian for not being Christian enough or not being Christ-like, you're helping to perpetuate that delusion. To be Christian is to be Christian, to do what a Christian does, to behave as a Christian behaves. And in my experience, that has nothing to do with being ethical. 